Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to talk about my ovulation symptoms. Who's excited? Ovulation symptoms have been hitting me like a ton of bricks since I had my son. My son is 15 months old, but since I got my period back around, he was eight months old, and that's kind of when we stopped breastfeeding and when my period came back. My ovulation symptoms every month have been so incredibly strong and like comically so, which is why I felt like I wanted to share them. Just in case you're wondering like how do I spot my ovulation symptoms, what are ovulation symptoms, or if all of a sudden you start experiencing these and just like wanna connect mom to mom, or maybe you're not a mom yet, but like you just wanna connect woman to woman. I'm not a doctor, but this could also almost be like how to know you're ovulating um, besides taking ovulation tests, which I did to know when exactly I was ovulating with my son. I love the ovulation test strips I used. I'll link them down below. They were like so cheap on Amazon. The first symptom and the strongest symptom and how I know, hi, I'm ovulating, is my libido goes through the roof. Through the roof. Actually, it like explodes the roof off, which is like the grossest thing to think of. Anyway, my libido goes through the roof. My sex drive is out of control. And uh, that was never been me. That was like never part of my personality or like who I was. Like that just isn't a thing for me. Uh, but now it is. One, like around that time every month, I feel like I have like a healthy sex drive, but it's never like insane around my ovulation. Like around that time that I'm ovulating, forget about it. It is so intense. My body's way, I guess, of telling me like, hey, like make a baby because you're gonna release an egg. Like now's the time, procreate but it's so distracting and so overwhelming that it's that's the part that's most comical is that like all of a sudden I turn into this like ravenous beast of a person who like only wants my husband. It's, it's pretty intense. So anyway, libido is number one for sure. I have become super hormonal around my ovulation time, which is interesting because I usually expect that from around my period. Um, like maybe a couple of days before I get my period, I'll become super hormonal and pretty emotional. Little things make you upset, annoyed, whatever. And that is how I feel now, now, not only before my period, but now like around the time that I'm ovulating. So maybe like a day, a day and a half before I am to release an egg, I will become super hormonal. And every little thing will either like annoy me, upset me, make me sad. Um, and it's really intense. It's like this wave of emotion comes through me. And so like couple that with the libido and you've got like this little tornado <laughs> of ovulation symptoms just going around the house. Next symptom that I have been experiencing so intensely um, during ovulation time is cramping. And that's something that I never experienced. Like maybe I experienced the other things a little bit before my son, before I got pregnant, but I know that I never had ovulation cramping before. I only ever had cramping for my period and it was always pretty mild. I've always had like a pretty mild four day period, like nothing too intense. And that's still pretty well the case. But now, like ever since I had my son, the cramping that I get during ovulation time is really intense and it's very localized. So it's not so much like, it's a little bit of period cramping. So I'll feel a little cramping in my uterus for sure, but it definitely feels more localized to my ovaries. So I'll feel like these little pangs almost, <laughs> these are like darts. Of, I don't I wouldn't call them pain but it's like little cramps like tiny little cramps like little lightning bolts of cramps in my ovaries and I find that so interesting because I'm like okay like this this is not period cramps but my like that area is cramping um, so that is something that has that's new but definitely like very very prominent um, around that time. Okay, let's talk about everyone's favorite thing to talk about, cervical mucus, CM. Before I, I was trying to get pregnant, I had no idea what CM was. I had no idea that like our discharge had any sort of meaning to it. After I started doing research, I actually really learned to appreciate cervical mucus, which is like the grossest thing, but um, it's really amazing. It's really amazing what your body produces to help like 
get you pregnant and facilitate and like the transport of sperm to your egg. It's really cool. But I've noticed now like since I've had my son um, that now my like it's so clear when I have fertile CM and when I don't. And I think that that's really interesting. Around the time that I'm ovulating, I definitely notice like so much more CM. And like this is like, this is TMI taken to like a whole new level. But I notice so much of that like egg white CM, which they say is the most fertile. Um, so much of that. <laughs> and that is not something, you know, maybe I just didn't notice it before, but I feel like it's more, it's more now. And I don't know, again, like, I don't know if that's my body saying like, girl, we are ready. Let's have another baby or what. But since I got my period back, it's been intense. Like it's been some intense, fertile, fertile CM. And the last thing I'll mention, uh, which is like a little bit of like a sub note, is that like even a thing, subtweet, I don't know, is headaches. So I'll get... And this is a hard one to say because I have in the past few months been getting headaches just randomly during the month and it has nothing to do with my period, it has nothing to do with ovulation. But these these past couple months I have noticed that around that time, and I don't know if it's a result of this like intense libido and my body and the hormones, like this the headache just being a little bit of a side effect and not necessarily like a huge effect of my ovulation um, but I have noticed like little headaches here and there around the time that I'm ovulating. So yeah guys those are my ovulation symptoms that are so intense and I just had to share because when I say so intense I mean like for a few days I am blanketed in these symptoms like it's all I can it, it's just it takes over my life it takes over my life um so please 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 let me know in the comments that i am not alone <laughs> that you too experience intense ovulation symptoms um around that time of the month where you are most fertile if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe and i will see you in my next one bye guys